So yesterday, in a bit of a surprise update, True Fallow were released along with the Trophy Lodge improvements and a bunch of bug fixes. The actual new Trophy Lodge has not been released yet. That, as far as I know, is still going to be November 14th. But either way, we're going to go out here and check out the Fallow Deer. We got to see them some in the Trailblazer beta. But I'm kind of curious to see if there's been any major changes, see if we can run into any good ones to kind of see what they look like and... If we're lucky, maybe we can get a diamond or a rare or something cool for that upcoming lodge. Alright, so we have three different level fours. I think that one might be the best one. And of course, it's going to be the most difficult shot to make, but... I guess we're going to go for a brain shot. It's kind of far as well, which does not help things. That'll work just fine, though. That will work a little less just fine. Heh. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, and then that guy has no idea anything just happened, so... Might as well... Drop him too. And we'll get the... Get a decent look at the... Different true acts. I just realized there's more standing out there. Are they decent? I don't... Ooh. It's about to say... Oh, these were just dead ones. I was about to say I don't want to delete the zone, but that's actually better than anything we just shot, so it's going to have to happen. Even if we do lose the zone, it's not really a big deal. There's not, like, really anywhere else they can go, so eventually they'll just bring it back here. But anyway, we can start to clean up now, so that was actually a goal. Not too bad. So I guess that's kind of the rack to, to look for for minimum gold. I'm going to go ahead and mount a lot of these, just because the multi-mounts are in the game. Uh, like I said, the new trophy lodge isn't, so we can't use that. But we might as well go ahead and throw together, like, a huddle fallow by the end of this. So at least I'll get three golds in there, because I believe this is one as well. 818, a little bit different shape, I think. Actually... I like the mass on these. I feel like there's more than... Maybe in the beta, but definitely more than the legacies, and I like that. So we'll get him as well. This is the one I messed up, so that's definitely... Uh, not gonna be a gold, but I wanna see... Where my follow-up shot was. And he, he would've been as well. That would've been four golds at one lake with 84 kilos. Definitely, and then... I got the next shot on the follow-up. Just missed it on the first shot. And you know what? Did I? Oh, I thought that was the initial shot. I thought I messed this one up, but he's going to end up being the biggest one. He's 86 kilos, so not by much, but uh, 837 for him. He looks way bigger, and I said this on the Trailblazer beta. Like, that's the old big four, small five rack, and that's scoring 830, like, the diamonds are going to be huge. I've still not seen one that anybody posted, but maybe we'll get lucky enough to run into one today. Man, this spot's just loaded with fallow again. I was kind of wondering if the update may change that, but they are everywhere. Including over there with the giant buck. But I think that's definitely the one to take. He looks like he... Should be a gold, no problem. So, get him. And that one. And we'll probably leave it at that. We've already done a ton of shooting. Oh, jeez. Well, that's a convenient ledge. I think I'd have died otherwise. You know, I'm not so sure I did shoot the biggest one. I actually lost 1% quick kill at that. But there's an 86 kilo track. I don't really know which one I shot, but... I didn't think whatever I did shoot was that big. Oh, actually it is. Alright. So at least I'm not going to be hanging out here trying to find a random fallow deer that's actually not all that special. And he's actually... I mean, he's quite a bit different. He's two score lower than the last one. And it's kind of the same shape, but I feel like there's a lot more mass and... I don't know, it's a little... 
tilted back, whereas the other one went a little more vertical, so that's cool. I was kind of thinking I might not taxidermize that one, just, you know, for the huddle fallow, I wanted some difference, but there's actually a lot there, even though they're kind of the same, same general size. Hello. How's it going? Oh, okay. I thought it was stuck. What? Anyway, moving on. That's kind of lame, but, uh, wait. There it is. Oof. Is he going to end up floating over here? All right. Well, time to take a break then, I guess. It's going to take a minute. Ooh, hey, check that out. I actually thought for a minute that was going to be a five because it looks very similar to, like, the big diamond rack in the past just with how wide it is. That's definitely one we got to go and take a shot at, but we'll get that little guy. That was just a lung liver. Instant drop. That's interesting. All right. Bad wind. Didn't really realize he was going to be right there. But that'll do just fine. I think we just did the same thing. I think that was lung liver again, but for whatever reason he ran, I guess since he was a little further away. But I actually have, like, no time today. So, that may well be our last kill, which I think is going to be, I would think, 920s or 930s anyway. We'll get the third component to our huddle fallow, because it's going to be a lot better than that little 805 we started with. But yeah, we'll go and take a look at that. I've got, I think, one or two multi-mounts set up otherwise uh, from other stuff that we shot in preparation for that lodge, so we'll probably take a look at them too. Yeah, 924. Lung liver again, not too bad. Kind of just the way he was standing, tough to get a decent look at him. But we'll see him in the trophy lodge, so let's send him there, and we'll go take a look at that. So I did have to hide one thing, because I've not actually had that video out yet. But I think we have to have the big guy in the front. Not too bad. And this is the kudu one we we work towards. I think that's really cool having the... What was that called again? Dark red, maybe? The dark red and the albino? And the one I had to hide would be the other one. So I think as far as multi-mounts go, that's all we have. Because we shot that diamond elk. But I need a female puma for that one. So, like, if you look at these... Uh, multi-mounts. I was kind of hoping these huddle ones would allow like male or female because I think it'd be cool to have like a buck and two rare does, two bucks on a rare doe, whatever. But uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do that one till we get a female food and I want to get a rare one. Although you know what? Hang on, I have a thing. Oh wait, you know what? That actually requires the massive platform which there's none in Spring Creek Manor. You have to have the uh, the new lodge, which is now yet. So I guess we'll have to wait to see that one. But I do actually have a albino female puma that we can use for that. So we may do that. We'll uh, admire the fallow a little bit. It's cool, like how much mass you see in the bases here. I really feel like that was kind of lacking. Even really, it's lacking on that one. But yeah, that's neat that there's actually that big of a variance with it. I like it. I think it's going to be fun to, to hunt the fallow and get that diamond in there. Although I guess that's going to be interesting. I don't know if I'll try to put that in my Truax Lodge or if we'll go in the new lodge. I guess it depends what the new lodge looks like. But anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.